G'day, it's Justin from Australia, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on TJV with Josh, Diesel, Chevy, the two Frankies, and Britt. Enjoy. Good morning, everybody. We're in Minnesota near Clearwater at the Speed Speedway. Is that what it's called? Speedway Travel Plaza? Getting ready to start our day. We're gonna go down to Alexandria, just a little ways down the road, and have a shower and wash this magnificent beard. And then we'll be on our way. We're on our way to Calgary. We're delivering a load of glass. They're expecting us there 7 a.m. Thursday morning, and it is right now 7 a.m. It's not 7 a.m. 10 a.m. Central Time, Tuesday. We gotta be there 7 a.m. Mountain Time, so I'm trying to do the time difference in my head. So it's 9 a.m. over there right now. We gotta be there 7 a.m. over there day after tomorrow. We have 1,838 kilometers to go. We have about 1,200 miles, 1,100 miles, somewhere in there. Let's get at it. Diesel. Yes? Are you ready for this? I was born ready, man. Let's go. Indeed. Indeed. I gotta get some fuel there, too. The fuel economy has still been doing really good since our uh, visit to the shop in British Columbia. And we're officially kicked into driving. Our day has started. No take backsies. No do overs. It has now begun. You cannot change drive time in e-logs. So once you're driving, you're driving. Your clock has started, whether you like it or not. So Alexandria is just a little ways down the road here. We got a decent amount of time to get to Calgary. We've been trying to save as much fuel as possible. The savings alone in the difference in fuel economy, the savings alone should pay for that repair in a few to several months. So that's good, I'm glad that that turned out. As long as nothing else goes wrong, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Nothing else can go wrong. Exit 100 here, I-94 in Minnesota. Stop in here, grab some fuel and a shower at the Pilot. Fuel economy today isn't what it was yesterday, that's for sure. As soon as you get out onto the prairies, onto the plains, the wind picks up and the wind is coming out of the west today and I'm pointed my nose straight at it. In 100 meters, turn left on MN27. So, we're fighting the wind today, and this big parachute behind me is dragging me down. But we're still doing better than we were doing before all the repairs, so that's good. It's just unfortunate that it's so windy all the time on the prairie. As soon as you get close to North meters, Dakota. Turn right on Evergreen Lane. But I live on the prairie, so I know all about wind. It's always windy. There's nothing to break the wind. It's all just wide open grasslands, you know? All open farms. I know the farmers hate it because In that wind. Meters, oh, Karen, quiet. Quiet. That wind picks up their dirt and it erodes their fields and takes their nice, rich topsoil off and blows it away. So they don't like the wind either. That's why a lot of times they, they build windbreaks, right? They plant trees as windbreaks between their fields. But that doesn't stop all the wind from hitting the highways. So we're gonna get fuel first. At about a quarter tank, much lower than I, I like to go. Oh, it's busy here, what in the world? What? 
Pump tarnation. Now why is there cars in two of the pumps? That's weird. Okay. Every pump is being used right now. These two in front of us, I don't know what they're doing. They must be repairing those pumps. I don't know. Oh boy, and these guys are all just parked. Oh, this guy's fueling. That's right. So this guy's just fueling up his reefer by the looks of it. I don't know. This guy on the left here, transport designs, he's just parked in the pumps. He's not fueling. That's nice. That's nice of them. Guess we'll wait. I think this guy will be done soon. He's at least actively here, fueling his truck and not inside. All showered up, fueled up, DEF'd up. <laughs> We're headed out. I met Dad here. Dad happened to be in the area and just passing by and swung in here to say hello. Take a look at all the work the good shop did to my truck. Well, we've got that burning ball of fire. Shining its light right in our face. How rude. Good thing I got my my darkened lookers on. My sunshine glasses. Continue on this road for 77 kilometers. Absolutely. So we're gonna pick up our speed to about 60 mile an hour now. We might even go up to 65. We're 500 kilometers or 300 miles. Away from the Canadian border, we have six hours and 23 minutes available on our 14 hour clock. I can make it. We can get into Canada tonight yet, and then we get an extra two hours to play with. Well, at least let's see if we can make it. Oh, I feel a lot better now. I was so sluggish before. It's always best just to stop for a nap if you have time. And even if you don't have time, sometimes it's just best to stop for a nap. So much better. So let's see if we make it. I mean, we don't have to. We can at least make it up to Minot, but let's try and make it up to Canada. We're crossing at North Portal, Saskatchewan from Portal, North Dakota. about 45 minutes from Jamestown, North Dakota right now on the I-94. What do you think? You think we can do it? It's about time to say goodbye to our four-lane divided highways. Jump the gun a little bit there, Karen. I was still talking. I was still talking. You jumped the gun a little bit there. You gotta listen first before you talk. So we're exiting here Jamestown onto US Highway 52. This U.S. highway, the two-lane highway. Meters. Take U.S. Oh, Karen. Track west, U.S. 281. Turn north and then turn right in 360 meters. I, I was just in the process of telling them that. It's a two-lane highway that snakes its way through central North Dakota up to northern North Dakota, where it meets up with southern Saskatchewan and spits you out into Canada on Highway 39. We are officially on the two lane now until 200 meters. Turn right on 81st Avenue, US 281 truck. You don't even know what you're talking about, Karen. You're drunk. Go home. We get our four lane back once we reach the Trans Canada, west of uh, Regina, Saskatchewan, near Moose Jaw. And that won't happen until tomorrow sometime, midday or afternoon or something. We're waiting for a pickup coming from our left here. That's just creeping along. Put, 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 Now they wanted to make a turn, okay. Your putting is excused. Continue on this road for five kilometers. Actually, I sort of lied. We get a four-lane divided here for just a little bit, and then there's a four-lane divided by Minot, North Dakota yet. So we get a little bit of four lanes on the way up there. But for the most part, it'll be a two-lane highway all the way up to Moose Jaw. 
rolling into beautiful, beautiful Carrington, North Dakota. I always gotta say hi to my friend here. He's up here on the right. He's always waving at me. Every time we go through here, we gotta make sure we wave. It's rude not to wave back, right? He's just here at the Chieftain Motel. He's the big chief. Where is he? There he is, there he is. I see him. I see him, there he is. What's up, chief? How's it going? Such a friendly guy. We gotta go around a little roundabout. I usually stop here at the truck stop, but I'm gonna skip this stop this time. I'm gonna go all the way to Minot because I wanna grab fuel there. And uh, we're in a little bit of a rush. I wanna get up to Canada today yet. And we should be able to make it, no problem. We'll have about 45 minutes left on our clock on our US hours of service. Then once we cross into Canada, we have an extra two hours on Canadian hours of service. So if we feel like it, we can go a little further yet. If we don't, we can just sleep there. But at least we have that option then, right? Uh oh, what's going on down there? Flashy lights. At the roundabout, take the third exit in 400 meters. Oh boy, that's a fire truck going here. That's a fire truck with blue lights. It's so weird, it looks like a cop to me. And there's more police down the road over there. It must have been an accident. Oh, I hope everybody's okay. Eh. No more emergency vehicles here though, right? Only oh, whenever you see one emergency vehicle, you should always keep your keep your head up and keep your eyes open because usually where there's one emergency vehicle, there's at least two. At the roundabout, take the third exit. So if one passes by you, get ready to stop and make way for the second one. There's not always a second one, but usually very often there is. Boat. Continue on this road for 39 kilometers. All right. That is North Dakota for you, though, eh? Like, look at these huge farming operations. These huge grain elevators. Is that what they call them still? Grain elevators? Is grain storage bins? Like, can you imagine how much grain or feed or whatever they store in there? I'm not a real farmer. I'm just a fake farmer. Imagine how much they could store in that big bin. They got like half a dozen of them there. It's crazy. I guess from here they load it onto trains and then it gets dispersed to where whoever buys it. A lot of it probably goes overseas. It's the farmers of North America, of Canada, and the US, we, we feed most of the world. Well, not most of them, we feed a lot of the world. Oh, oh, I thought that was gonna be a little bumpier than that. But yeah, I'm just a farmer on in the imaginary world. Speaking of, I'm doing pretty good. I'm back in debt again. I had to, I wanted to buy a new pig barn. Bought a new pig barn. Borrowed some money for that. I'm gonna have to pay that back over the course of this next week. I've logged almost 1,200 hours on that game. <laughs> But I haven't been playing the whole time. I haven't been playing nearly that long. It's just, I usually have it running in the background. While I'm doing other things. Because it's a simulator, right? Farmers don't work 24-7 every day, 365 days a year, and neither do I. And sometimes you just gotta let things go, let the pigs do their thing, let the fields grow. Minot, North Dakota. Anybody else thirsty? My truck's not really that thirsty yet, but we're gonna fuel up here where they got a bit of cheaper juice because the temperatures are pretty nice. Spring is just about upon us. So I don't have to be so careful with which fuel I put in my truck. I'm not too worried about it gelling up. Let's go right to this one. You wanna know why I'm picking this one? Cause I'm lazy and I wanna be as close to the building as possible. What? Oh, well, this guy's got a big heavy load. Look at that. Woo! Careful with that. You get yourself an overweight ticket. And we're not going to get diesel number one today. We're just going to get the regular diesel. Shut the truck off right away. Reduce every idling minute that I can. Just let the world know here that we're going to 
fuel. We'll also walk around our truck and do a load check while we're here. And then we're gonna go in there and we're gonna get a coffee. Because we're going to Canada. We'll make it today. Oh my God, I got two hours, 22 minutes left. 147 kilometers or under 100 miles. We should make it, at least get into Canada today. I don't have a little bit of a shorter day tomorrow. It's been a long day. We're in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. We made it up to Canada here. That's where we're gonna spend the night. At our usual spot, at the co-op there. Hopefully no one's taken my spot. I have a spot off in the back in the corner where I'm usually all by myself. Nice quiet night. Tomorrow, one more longer, well not quite as long as today, but one more day and then we'll be in Calgary. We unload, hopefully we can reload the same day, but I have to be in Sundra, Alberta before two o'clock to get loaded. And the place I'm delivering to in Calgary, I'm delivering this glass, they usually take all day to unload me, but it's a, it's a simple load this time, right? Just two bundles of a bunch of crates of glass. We'll see what happens. My unloading appointment is 7 a.m. So there's a chance that I can still make it by two to Sundra. Then we can start headed home and I'll be going home for the weekend. Finally getting a little bit of a break at home since uh, it's all this work was done on my truck and stuff. I could have stopped by home a little bit last weekend, but this will be for actually like Saturday and Sunday. Man, those things are bright. Somebody's in my spot. That's big guy off here to the left. You probably can't see him because it's too dark. My camera doesn't pick it up. Big oversized loads parked in my spot. How dare you? It's my spot. Pretty nice load though. It's not even in there. He doesn't have a sleeper. They took my spot. Oh well, I'm gonna park at the back here then. Man, this looks like this lock gets pretty soft here. Don't want to get stuck. That was a long day. That was a long day. I have 46 minutes left on my Canadian hours of service, so that was a long day. But we did good fuel economy today. Got to meet Dad today out in Alexandria, way back in Minnesota. Drove through North Dakota, got all the way up here to Saskatchewan. It was a long day. So tomorrow we'll be in Calgary, but thanks for hanging out with me guys. We're, we're trucking on here, we're doing well. And uh, tomorrow's another day to do what we love to do, right? So have a good night everybody and we'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We're still trying to get to 100,000. We're, we're slowly getting there, but I think we could, I think we could get there yet, 100,000. If you have friends that like to watch trucking videos or like watching YouTube, share my videos with them. Tell them to subscribe. See if we can get to 100,000. All right. I appreciate it. Diesel. Speechless. I know. What a day. What a day.